Hi guys, um, we're in uh, Rington on day out. We're doing, um, it's a walled garden. Uh, it's a beautiful location. Well, let me just show you a second. So we've got, uh, there's an avenue leading up to the walled garden. Which is, uh, arches. This is just an area at the bottom where there's some studios and there's some uh, squashes. Uh, beautiful countryside. This is Somerset. And Eddie's, uh, oh, Somerset's beautiful in the summer. Mm -hmm. When I say we've um, come to have a look here, we come here, we've come here many times. This is uh, it's a very pretty wall uh, garden. It's uh, free to get in, and there's a cafe in there. I think that's how they make their money. Um, they also sell fruit and veg in the shop. They also sell fruit and veg in the shop. Yeah. Uh, instead of going up to, oh, well, I was about to say, instead of getting up to the main event, we've come to the orchard, but actually, I'll tell you what, it's a nice looking orchard. The, um... Right, let's um, record in the evidence of uh, my, my wife stealing other people's um, produce. <laughs> they, uh... they wasps and stuff in them. Yes, I know, but they still belong to somebody. It's, it's agriculture, Chits, you can't go around. So I'm sending this to the police if you, uh, yeah. I'd better look elsewhere, hold on. <laughs> right, finished? This is um, yeah, the walled garden. It's a nice avenue of uh, apples. They've extended outside the walled garden, so we've got more uh, brassicas and so on. Another orchard. These apples are quite impressive. They must have been manuring them. There are loads, loads on there. Herbaceous border running straight down the middle. Yeah, it's looking good. This is a classic uh, Victorian wall garden, um, wall kitchen garden. It's got um, brick walls around the outside, you've got um, one big square divided into four. Box engine and rows of veggies. So we've got cow. Um, is that celeriac or is it? Yeah, celeriac, I think. Lettuce. So, growing vegetables wasn't always unfashionable, it was the, the height of fashion in Victorian times. Providing uh, fresh fruit and vegetables to the, um, to the Lord of the Manor. Kale here, Russian kale, I think it is. They've used um, composted manure, they've laid it down as a mulch. Yeah, it's probably broccoli, calabrese, bolting uh, lettuce. Well, the outsides we've got all oh, that we've got plums, and, um, they're spallied against the walls, herbs, sage and rosemary. What's this here? I think that's apple mint, probably. Yeah, apple mint. Oh, 
What's that? This is the, uh, the fruit section. We've got um, golden um, raspberries. I think these are tayberries, I think. And uh, blackberry. It's quite good looking blackberry, actually. something like that and then uh, raspberries Doing? I don't know. <laughs> Just wanted to get you in the video more. So, um, yeah. Enjoy my peppermint tea. Peppermint tea. And really, oh yeah, a little plug for the Ethicurian, which I believe is the name of the uh, the cafe, which is within the walled gardens in Rington. Actually, the coffee's not too bad, and they don't mind. They don't mind. Um, they don't seem to mind serving oaks like us either, so yeah. So, uh, <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> they were in the Guardian, weren't they? The Epicurean. Oh my god, they must be good they then. <laughs> <laughs> Asparagus beds, spalliard uh, plum, more plums, more asparagus. Oh, these onions look nice. They're um, in bunches, they're probably something like um, Paris silver skin or something like that. This, uh, yeah, spring onion. More lettuce. Leeks, leeks done in uh, bunches of three or more. Seems to be the latest fashion. More brassicas. Late leeks. I expect they'll be ready in the, in the spring. So, outdoors cucumbers. Garden's not right without um, sweet peas. Let's have a sniff. Yeah, it's nice. There's a fig. Because gogs. Runner beans. Dahlias. I've got a lot to learn as a gardener. The, uh, God even knows what that is. Is that, is that, that um, Italian vegetable? I forgot what it's called. Salisola. God knows. I'm not going to try it. More um, outdoor um, cucumbers. Porridge. Some late 
servings of um, carrots, I think. Judging, judging by that, I think they're carrots. It's in the compost. Have a look. Oh, it looks good stuff. That's, uh, looks very manure-y. It's charred. More turnips. More kale. More borage. Yeah, look, their, their, their fertility is um, two inches, three inches of um, compost, composted manure. And um, yeah, this is one of my favourite gardens. It is. Uh, I love um, love this garden. It's really nice. French beans. It's a black fly. I don't want to go in there. I don't want any of that beans. Some runner beans, scarlet runners. And here's some that looks to me like a nursery bed for um, well it looks like a, a two-year-old artichoke. I presume he's gonna split that open and then create new ones. These are new artichokes and as you can see I mean they're new because they're only basically one stalk but, uh, I presume they come from cuttings but he's, uh, he or she who runs this garden has cut the lower leaves away maybe the rotting maybe but uh, they don't seem to be eating the artichokes themselves because the flowers um, are open That was an older one that's got um, runners coming up um, underneath. Well, this broccoli's going to waste. They um, should be eating this. There's a nice head over there. But look, this is blown. This is blow in. I'd eat that quick. That's, uh, this is fully blown. There's a nice head over there, there's a nice head over there as well. Yeah. I think that's lovage growing down there, oh, that row there, which is a hell of a lot of lovage. Black currants or red currants or whatever. There's uh, parsley. I think it's parsley. These these cucumbers don't don't seem to be doing very well. But you'll always get failures. I think that's sorrel. The um this is uh Coming to the end of my little tour, I think the uh, this is an example of what um, I, th I think the perfect um, perfect vegetable garden. I think it's a kitchen garden, and it? it's, it's, it's it's not just a vegetable garden; it's, it's a posh vegetable garden. Um, but it's you know it's aspirational, but um, but it's, it's not it's not in any way perfect. If I if, if I show you the um, the uh, look, we've got um, we've got weeds. We've got uh, slug damage, we've got um, other forms of damage, we've got what was it, flea beetle, we've got bolting, we've got bolting over here, you know? uh, but nonetheless we've got a um, little rays of sunshine, the, uh, the pink and um, pink and yellow chard, you can see where it's been eaten, it's, um, it's a functional place. And uh, you know it's beautiful. These great big white stalks from that um, white chard, and the more delicate yellow ones. That um, you know, there's much thinner stalks. Yeah, it's delicate. Yeah, these are big white stalks. 
Um, we've got, um, you know, it's not by any means perfect. Uh, it's, it's half of those beans, half of those French beans over there didn't make it. This is Somerset, we do get um, strong winds coming across, which is why we've got walls around here we're on the hillside. So half of those um, French beans didn't make it. The, the, the more traditional, um, more suited to England, uh, the runner bean. Gorgeous. Um, so not everything's. I mean, look at the um, sweet corn over there. Hardly looks like it hasn't made it. Isn't it? Tiny little plants, one and a half foot tall, uh, with one cob on it. You know, everything bolting everywhere. But I still think it's beautiful. This is this is. You know, I expect 100 years ago the garden would have got sacked, but it's the sort of place that you, a vegetable gardener wants to be. And, uh, well. A vegetable garden is like me. The, the uh, rows of um, that's an idea I'm going to have to do. Take on black plastic under um, strawberries under black plastic. I might give that a go. Strawberries over black plastic. The, the uh, I've been thinking about whether or not I need to um, dig up my strawberries because uh, I've got mare's tail. And bindweed. Actually, no. I'll wait a couple of years before I do strawberries. I think. Oh, that's reassuring that they've got a little bit of um, bindweed as well. So, uh, all in all, beautiful place. Highly aspirational. It has its flaws, but then all great art does, doesn't it? Looks to me like a like a meddler, I think. Other people can tell me, but uh, this is the orchard. You've got some pears. I don't even know what that is up there. Is it? Um, oh, I don't know. But mostly it's an apple orchard. We've got um, some bees. Don't know whether you can see that underneath. Some bees over there. Beehives. I can smell cider so strongly here, the apples are exuding their juice. Um, yeah, there's the, there's the um, beehives. I'm not going to get too close because they'll sting me. I don't know whether the, the um, bees uh, could be seen, but they'll, um, they'll help pollinate all the, the apples, plus give you honey. This would be uh, a sight seen everywhere in um, in uh, Somerset 100 years ago, or even less. It's uh, Somerset produces, well, the west of England produces lots and lots of alcoholic cider, used to anyway. And uh, so you would have seen um, orchards everywhere. The classic smell and sight of um, west of West England. There, there's a harvest of mistletoe on a on an old apple tree. Where the apples are, I can't see on the, any on the ground either. Ah, here's an apple tree. Hmm.
All I can smell is cider, it's making me really thirsty. Yeah, yeah a beautiful sight. Barleywood uh, Wall Garden was constructed in 1901 um, for um, for the tobacco um, the head of the tobacco company Henry Henry Wills. Uh, built by the educator Hannah Moore and her sisters in 1802. Um, uh, it was derelict up until 1993 when it was restored um, and opened to the public in, in 2000. And uh, now it sounds uh, I might be sounding intelligent now as if I know what I'm talking about. But it's written here on the wall. I'm just pretending. It's a site you don't see very often anymore. It was a classic, um, it's a damson. It used to be the classic uh, uh, fruit in English gardens. Um, but uh, we're fond of sweeter fruit now. Yeah, we'd much rather have a, have a Victoria plum than a damson. But uh, they're beautiful to look at and they make great pies.